Could this be a normal field trip with a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see. Octopus in the neighborhood. But it sounds... Loopy? Exactly. What did I do wrong? Wow! She's amazing. That's one way to look at it. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Frizzle. Dorothy Ann, I take it that that was your new piece, Concerto for Invented Instrument. Well, it was the concerto part, all right, but... But the invented instrument was loopy. And there's almost no time to fix it before the concert at the Sound Museum tomorrow. Yeah, and we've got a rehearsal there this afternoon. So, what's the problem, Carlos? Well, I have a great idea for a sound. Mm, and I see you're building an impressive instrument to make it. Marvelous! That's the problem. I can hear the sound in my head, but I... Loopy. What am I going to do? Well, if you keep asking questions, Carlos, you'll keep getting answers. <laughs> but there's no time for questions, Miss Frizzle. We're going to be late for the rehearsal at the Sound Museum. And as we all know, those who are great are never late. Come along, class, to the bus. We're going now, but, but Miss Frizzle! But what if the sound of Carlos's instrument stays? <laughs> Just like that. Oh, our concerto will be ruined. All the other schools will laugh at us and it will be the end of the world as we know it. Other than that, nothing. Hmm. What else can I put on this thing to get it to make a terrific sound? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, there! <laughs> if I only had more time! Hmm, more time. Okay, bus, do your stuff. <laughs> Grand Finale. What happened? Oh, not to worry, class. I'll just be a moment. Oh, Overheated. Well, I believe we'll be here for quite a while. We're going to miss the dress rehearsal. Oh, now rest up. You'll be fine. All right. Time to work on my sound. Miss Frizzle, is 
Isn't there something we can do? Well, now that you mention it. It's really quiet, isn't it? There's hardly a sound. Just us, desperate, alone, vulnerable. What was that? It was me. How was that, Dorothy Ann? I want my instrument to have the power of a thunderstorm, so I put an umbrella on it. That sounded more like drizzle, Carlos. Oh. How about this? I wanted it to have the roar of a lion, so I gave it a mane. <laughs> it's a kitten, Carlos. It looks better and better, but it sounds worse and worse. What was that? All right. That's a great sound. But it, it wasn't me. It came from there. Oh, isn't it mellifluous? It's not exactly the word I'd use for it. Come on, Arnold. It's just a house. You're not scared of a house, are you? Me too. What's wrong with you, class? Where's your spirit of adventure? Take chances. Make mistakes. Get scared out of our wits. Oh, don't be such a chicken, Ralphie. There must be a phone in there. We can call a tow truck. Come on. See through. I'm out of here. Whoa, whoa. No need to be hasty, Arnold. That is some doorbell. Oh, well, nobody home. Let's go. Good idea. I'm with Arnold. But I need to know what made that sound. Shall we? Must we? Friendly enough? What a place! We've got a phone for help. Oh, good. Here's a phone book. <laughs> what was that? That was a tantalizing tintinabulation. No, don't! No, no. Oh, Foghorn. One of my favorites. Such a big, deep sound. Maybe one of these books was making the sound I heard. to know how this turns out. I'm out of here. <laughs> what kind of place is this? I wonder who lives here. Lived here, Keisha. Professor Cornelia C. Contralto, eccentric and collector of sounds, born 1807, disappeared 1892. How do you know that, Miss Frizzle? Because after she vanished, they turned her house, this house, into the Sound Museum. This is the Sound Museum? I knew it. 
We missed the rehearsal. Well, where is everyone? Mm, gone for the night, Tim. Which means we have the whole place to ourselves. Oh, boy! Oh, boy. <laughs> Professor Contralto devoted her entire life to sound. Huh? What happened to her? No one knows. Well, I'll bet you anything she's a ghost wandering around this house seeking the perfect sound. <laughs> seeking the perfect sound. Just like me. Well, Carlos, you'll have plenty of time to find it. We're spending the night. The night here? But our permission slips didn't say anything about haunted houses. Besides, there's no place for us. <laughs> Why, look, eight student-sized beds and a teacher-sized annex. It's almost as if someone were expecting us. Be sure to get lots of rest, class. We have a concert tomorrow. <gasps> now maybe it'll sound like a ghost. Carlos, that's the ploopiest yet. It's too late anyway. He'll never find a sound now. Cornelia, if you're out there, will you help me make this thing sound right? Uh, Carlos, Miss Frizzle said if you kept asking questions, you'd keep getting answers. Was that an answer? No, but that was... Don't be silly, it's just... Raised ghost, bound forever in the chains of eternal torment, coming to get us! Listen, it's, it's... Yeah, yeah, terrifying, we know. No! It's the call of Cornelia! Carlos, where are you going? I've got to find out what's making that sound. Um, should somebody tell Miss Frizzle? to my research. It's getting louder. We're getting closer. Is that good or bad? Bad. What is that? It's coming from in there. I'm going in. No, Carlos, no! Wow. Incredible. This is one weird house. You mean your house doesn't have a jungle, an ocean, a city, and an alpine wonderland? Nah, the landlord wouldn't go along with it. Damn. An echo. Maybe it was an echo we heard. Yeah, but who made it? Hi. Lass, did I wake you? Ms. Frizzle? Was that you? Oh, yes. Nothing like a good yodel before bed. Toodaloo-loo! Listen, there it is again. The call of Cornelia. Uh, how do we get out of here? The only way is up! Come along, class. Two by two, please. <laughs> Where are we? Professor Contralto built every room in this house to show different things about sound. Oh, simply somniferous. Hey, I've always wanted to play a harp. Look at that string moving back and forth. That class is a vibration. You can feel it. Vibration. Let's get the facts. When the string stopped vibrating, the sound stopped. The 
vibration of the string. That's what's making the sound. Very good, Carlos. Sound is vibration. Hear it. Feel it. Are all sounds made by something vibrating? Oh, good question, Carlos. Come on, Phoebe. Let's try out that drum. to make my instrument vibrate to make my sound. But how? As I always say, behind every successful sound is a vibration. <laughs> What's happening? Now what? Yeah! <laughs> Can I look now? Hey, it's showtime! Why the glasses? You heard sound, you felt sound. Now... Whoa! Carlos, what is it? I can see sound! Watch this! Look at me! Listen. Hadi, 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 hadi. Yeah, when you sing, hidey, 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 hi. Look, there are lots of vibrations close together. But when you sing, loady, loady, low, there are fewer vibrations further apart. Oh, excellent. High sounds are made by something vibrating fast, and low by something vibrating slow. You know what? These vibrations move kind of like ripples on a pond. <laughs> the waves start in one place and move out in all directions. If sound is a vibration and it moves through the air in waves and different vibrations make different sounds, stop the vibration and you stop the sound. Instrument looks as long as it can vibrate. DA, I know what to do. I've got to get my instrument. <laughs> it's gone. There's an explanation, class. The question is, what is it? First, Carlos's instrument disappears. Then each of us, one by one. sort of dungeon or something. Well, if they torture you, don't tell them anything! I'll learn to be a lawyer and meet you back here when we're grown-ups! This way, Arnold. we <laughs> <laughs> Coming, Arnold! We're waiting! I think I should have stayed home today. Arg! Thanks, Miss Frizzle. No, oh, don't mention it, Arnold. Well, Carlos, you got us into this. Any ideas how to get us out? Listen, where is it coming from? It's hard to hear exactly. Wait here. It's coming from along there. He he can't go down there alone. You're right, Keisha. Why don't you go with him? Come on, you bunch of weasley wimps. Let's follow Miss Frizzle. You can see the sound waves bouncing off the walls. There, from there, from there. Sound waves bouncing. I bet that's how an echo is made. The 
Those sound waves are traveling through that door. Good observation, Dorothy Ann. Just so long as we don't travel through that door. No, we've got to see what it is. Hello? It was you? Wait a minute. Is it just me, or are you a... are you? Professor Cornelia C. Contralto. The second. And that is my great-grandmother. Now listen, you've got a concert tomorrow, right? Are you ready to make your instrument sound richly resonant and resoundingly reverberant? How'd she know about Carlos's instrument? You asked the question. Let's see. Don't you mean, let's hear? Right! To make a sound, I need to make something vibrate. My instrument couldn't vibrate because there was too much stuff on it. I don't need that. Don't need that. That goes, um, uh, that goes. I, I think, think he's got, got it. it. Dr. Contralto. As I always say, hit it, Cornelia! Heidi, 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 Heidi. Low, 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 low. Heidi, 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 Heidi. Low, 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 low. Say that? Yes. Well, what's the deal with that house? I mean, you can never see sound. It goes way too fast. Oh, you're right. That's why they had magic glasses. I don't get something. If sound is a vibration, just what's doing the vibrating? Thin air. A sound is made when something pushes back and forth on the air and makes the air vibrate. This vibration travels through the air to your ear as a sound wave. So a loud sound is just a big vibration? Right! And a soft sound is a very tiny vibration. And what about our ears? You hardly mention them. Ears are very important. They turn sound waves into something our brain can handle. That's how you hear. But not everybody's ears work the same, do they? was a hearing aid to help her hear better. And some people can't hear anything ever. Even with a hearing aid, they use their brains with their other senses to replace hearing. And another thing, there are lots of differences in sounds besides loudness and pitch. A violin and a saxophone sound very different, even when they're playing the same note. True. There are enough different kinds of sounds to fill the world. But we only had half an hour, and we had to leave room for all those <laughs> hilarious jokes. Okay, but one last thing. Yes? About that ghost. Well, that can't have been true. I mean, everybody knows there's no such thing as ghosts. Certainly not. <laughs> Let's go. 
make your day. 